Well, let me just say this one was totally out of my control. We love road trips. We've done a bunch of them in the past and every time it turns into an amazing adventure. So as an experiment to connect as many people as possible, we wondered what would happen if a hundred people went on one massive road trip together to a random destination. Matt and Amar were supposed to lead this adventure with a hundred of our subscribers since I had my own plans this weekend and that's where things took a turn. So the reason Thomas is not filming with us this weekend is because his lady friend is coming into town from abroad. Thomas recently fell in love and what if the road trip is to go find where Thomas is gonna be and crash his date with a hundred subscribers. I think that's genius. Thomas, how do you feel about that? You're never gonna find where I am. You don't know what apps I put on your phone. <laughs> you don't know he's been tracking you for years. What? <laughs> you meet a girl and you wanna start getting closer, you introduce her to your family and that's exactly what's gonna happen this weekend. You're gonna introduce her to a hundred members of the S fam. The best family that there is. I haven't seen her in three weeks and a hundred of you are gonna show up. I was trying to like leave this place. <laughs> Literally, I was trying to leave. But you can't. <laughs> you can never leave us. Are like, you out of your mind? I literally went like three hours away from here. You guys are like the obsessive girlfriend, you know? What do you mean? We're gonna find you. <laughs> when, we find, when we find you. Dude, I am here to f***ing outlast all of, the, all of them. <laughs> Love you, Lexi. <laughs> This is what you signed up for. There's not much you can do. You will have no private life. A <laughs> hundred <laughs> people. Yo, guess what? what? Thomas texted me this morning saying that Lexi is officially his girlfriend. Oh, Perfect timing, hey? So cute. Yeah, that is perfect timing. Wow. What a great reason to celebrate. Over the past three and a half years we've known Thomas, we've never seen him feel like that about anyone. Given that usually you meet the family when you start dating someone seriously, today Lexi is about to meet the family. Big family. We just got word from Marshall. What happened, Marshall? I think there's about at least 100 people there right now waiting, waiting to go on the road trip. Here at the meetup with all these dope people. We don't know where the f we're going, but we're still waiting for the boy. It's like what, 25 cars? Maybe even 40 cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Shit, dude. There's a lot of people. Here we are rolling up. Look at that. To come on this, we were gonna have a movie night. We just saw the poster. We're like, hey, let's go to San Diego. Let's go to. Wow. <laughs> How far is that? Ten, Ten hours. hours. That's holy. Shit. All right, guys. So Thomas asked the girl that he's been seeing for the past few months to be his girlfriend today. Whoa. Usually, you know, when you get a girlfriend, you want to introduce her to your family. Yeah. So that, that's what we'll be doing. To give context, the two significant things that happened in Thomas' life this year is that he got his driver's license. Fucking finally. <laughs> He got a girlfriend fing finally. Alright, let's go crush the thing. How do we pick who comes in the car? I love love. <laughs> let's take the guy around the marathon. Today. You all have the address? You're good? Okay, so. Thomas on three. One, two, three. Thomas! Squad up, let's go! Road trips, I love road trips. Come on, just go. Let's call Thomas to tell him what the hell is going on. Hey, baby! What's happening? We're coming to San Diego, dude. How many people are coming? It's a surprise. What? I'm gonna send you an address, and I'm gonna want, want you to be there at 6.15. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Oh, I my mean, God. Next fine. time, I'll have to go further away. You no, know, Matt has access to your bank account, so he's able to see where your bookings are. So that's I'll how follow you everywhere. To that's it. How does Matt have access to my bank account? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> so what are your names again? I'm Brittany. Brittany. Yeah. Nice yeah. Steven? Yes. But I'm from Montreal. Are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, just here for five days. And you ran the marathon? Yeah. I wasn't planning on running the marathon. Basically, I landed, I got on a bus to go to Santa Monica, and this tourist sits down next to me and just, we just start talking. It's this middle aged man, and he's here with his family to run the marathon. Oh, wow. But his son's wife got injured, so she couldn't run, but they already paid like $200 for her to run it, and he's like, you should run. And I was what? like, let's do it. I don't what? run, so I'm beyond exhausted right now. Oh, dude, wow. I'm in so much pain. Dude. But you know what was keeping me going the whole time? What? Oh, oh no way, dog. What up, bro? What's going on? Hey, guys. 
saw your car, I'm like, hey, yeah, let's go. I'm just like, we're going the right way. Let's see you guys there. <laughs> Time for some driving story time. This is by no means a shout out. This is more of a thank you and a way for us to express our gratitude to people who helped us when we first started. The question that we get asked all the time whenever people are running into us on the street, what is this car and why are we driving it? Two and a half years ago, we had just finished our show on Snapchat trying to go full time on YouTube, but it was really hard and we really were not making any money. We had this really white van. The van would break down every week and we ended up paying it's double what we got it for. Car. We ended up not having a car because the van broke down no money and we needed to go around filming episodes we didn't know what to do and that's when we got this email from this guy named Isaac who started this company called wave car which is the first free electric car sharing company people around LA are able to drive these cars for free so you have ads around the car that act like a billboard and so Isaac approached us and he said do you guys want one of our cars to drive around like we, we heard you're struggling without hesitation said for the love of God please give us a car and now we are going to shout the out of wave car because if you're ever on the west coast they have a bunch of different places where you can get the wave car but if you want to drive for free just download the wave car app and you're hooked up this is the car that thomas learned how to drive on and it's basically the only car he's ever driven so today we get to change that he gets to drive a very very special car with a very very special person that's absolutely surprising look at that you! What the hell? Okay. This is the date spot of the century. Hi hyperbole again. We made it! Hi, we made it! Yeah! She mellow. Oh, what up? Oh, we're in San Diego! Did anybody meet somebody new? Best friend. Best friend. The only car Thomas drove he was the wave car, the one we drive. So they were gonna give him a different driving experience since now he's, you know, a man in a relationship. And our friend Gustavo, who is a world champion in endurance racing, he was gonna show up with his own car and pass Thomas the keys and Thomas will drive into the sunset with his girlfriend and we're gonna hang out together. Yeah. The biggest third wheel of all time. <laughs> this way now. I asked Matt to get 100 flowers and got 400 of them. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey! Thomas should be arriving in about 25 minutes. Yeah. There's a bunch of candles, there's a bunch of flowers. There's like a beautiful formation where they basically arrive, walk in a path, and then it ends with like a big heart or something. When we get up there, I'll have him. Are you good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When we get here, I'll have him look and you guys just give him give him the cheer. Tell him what's happening. Tell him that we brought everybody to support him on this big day. Trent, what's your Trent, name? Trent Victoria. Victoria, all right. Okay, so me and Victoria just volunteered to help lay out and sort of lead like the path design. Uh -huh. We're gonna figure that out, I guess, as we go along. It'll be great, it'll be great. Move ahead up and find the driver. Well, we're gone. Just organize a path for him and Lexi to come to, and then a celebration, like a, a lineup of people. Do you still want the path to end here or over on no, there? No, no, we'll do a path there. there. You guys make it up. I'm like all a right, man. Right, 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 we we gave instructions here for general vision. We didn't give too much specifics, but they'll figure it out. If anyone doesn't know what's going on, raise your hand. Everyone, oh, wow. raise your hand. I hear him. <laughs> what the hell is that? How's it going, boys? God, what's up, dude? You said your boy wanted a dope car to drive since he got his license this year, so... I can't believe a, a friend of mine owns this car. <laughs> <laughs> he barely learned how to drive. Yeah, don't say that in front of him. This guy's <laughs> about to give us the car. All right, babe. You know this whole idea with them crashing our date? Uh, it's actually happening. And they've sent me an address, and we have to drive there. And I literally have absolutely no idea what to expect. Hopefully, uh, they've been kind to us, and they will not be uh, making this too... Awkward. You're the one making it awkward. I'm just anxious. I'm You're really. It awkward. I'm just. I don't know. Get in a single file line along the wall. So there's chaos, but it's good chaos. It's creative chaos. <laughs> if you have more than one flower, start passing them down the line so everybody gets one. Is this it? I think we should make a big heart around, around it. it, and then we can put some petals and stuff on the inside of that part. Okay, I like it. 
Thomas and Lexi should be here any second now. Any sec. And everyone thinks that this is a proposal. <laughs> there is a crowd lining up yeah. on the rocks. Oh. Woo! Woo! Huh, huh, huh. Yes, yes. Look at that. Everybody's stoked. I love it. You guys are the best wingmen ever. We do our best. I think it's time. Can we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Rock and roll, baby. All right, guys. Now we'll yeah. we see you. It'll be with Thomas. What man on his first date with his official girlfriend gets a <laughs> date like this? So outrageous, it doesn't even make sense. Falling in love was probably his biggest fear. Yeah. And risking that chance of being hurt. That's why he would just be always afraid of to commit anything long term. I think this is more to celebrate him taking that step to actually literally conquer his biggest fear. But the cool thing is she herself is like one of the most badass humans I have ever met. She is about to become the youngest person to ever travel to every single country in the world, breaking the world record. The range of stories and experiences that she's lived, I think, makes her a very good fit for Thomas. So all right. I think this is the address we're supposed to show up at. Uh, thanks for playing along. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm very scared. Oh god, there they are. I'm very nervous. <laughs> what the f*** is going on? <laughs> Why are you both sweating? How are you guys? How was, how was the weekend? <laughs> it's been so good. You make him very happy and for that we wanted to say thank you for coming to his life and thank you for coming to a lot of people's lives that we're about to, <laughs> we're about to go visit. Oh, are those tears or what? <laughs> Alright, they got the sack. Oh my god. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> when they said we're gonna crash your date in three hours. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I met Lexi four months ago and every single day with her has just been better than the one before. I'm so grateful that I get to celebrate the beginning of this with all of you guys around. It's very unconventional but I guess I think she knew what she was signing up for somewhat. <laughs> Yeah, Lexi speech, Lexi speech! Oh my god. I spent five months traveling by myself last year, so I got really used to being alone. And I really don't feel alone anymore. Oh my god, dude! Lexi Thomas! Lexi Thomas! Lexi Thomas! Lexi Thomas! We brought a special friend who's providing a very special experience for you guys today. It's Gustavo, where's Gustavo? No, he's right here. Yeah. We're gonna go up with everybody and do a send off, so. What we got here? He noticed. Bro, I heard you got your license this year, so. Wait, wait, <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you in Venice. James Bond right now. <laughs> 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 